All right, hello everyone. So first of all, um, hope you guys had a good weekend. So let's take a look at the market. Now remember, today is a holiday in the US, so be mindful. I've already posted the possible swing days and the extra hours onto the members area. So let's take a look. Now with gold, as you know, we were expecting to go up and the market went up and that's nice and easy. We went up to those targets, as you can see on the PST level. Looks like there's still a bit of room to kind of push up into there, but we have to be careful. Okay, now on the weekly, what I'd like to see, I don't mind going up, all right? This is a nice breakout, beautiful. Coming back down into a good buy kiss is 56, that's 2034. So coming back down into 2034 to go long, I think is a good idea. And that's there. All right, so this is not a bad spot either. Also on the daily, if you take a look, We've got that, we've got the meet up here. Oops, see daisy. It's just that one there, which is 2042, is it? Yeah. 2042 is there. All right, so look, between the weekly and here, I think it's good to kind of go up. We can do both. Um, yeah, we can do both at Astro Hours, okay? No buying at the tops. I mean, I don't like to buy at the tops anyway. There's a bit of a gap here. So coming back down to push up is okay. Coming back down to push up, I think, is also okay on gold. All right, like I said, New York's on holiday today. So that's that. If so, if that's the case, um, that 2031 is on the daily. So I'm just going to mark that in as well, 2031. That was 2034, wasn't it? 2034, 2031. So this zone is also okay to go along. All right, so we've got the weekly pivot and this zone here. All right, as per the PST indicator. Now, if the market goes up first, okay, then 64, we've got 2100 on the monthly, so let's put 2,100 there, 2,100. If it pops up here, this is gonna be a sell level, all right? If, on the weekly, we got room to go up, okay? And that could go then beyond 2,100, but that, on the monthly, we're gonna look out for. And then we've got 64, 67, plus this level 60 here. So that's 2,059 which is already done here, 2059 is here. All right, this is 2059 there. So it's pretty much done there, okay? And then we've got 64, 67, 2070 and 82, they're gonna be targets for us. 2070 is there. And 82 is there, All right? 2082 is there, so we'll have room to go up. But ideally, I'd like to see the market come down before we go up, okay? Don't muck around in no man's land. Let it come down, let it sink into a nice place. It's only Monday and New York is closed. And I've put the swing days there already, so be mindful. You can just wait and trade on the swing days as well if you want. SB 500. This is, as you know, resistance level. So that zone is for us, a sell zone. I talked about it last week, okay? So from here, if the market goes up selling, it's not a bad idea. Now on the monthly, we've got this LCL1 4882, which is a bit of a bother because 4882 is all the way up there, 4882. All right, and if we were somewhere nice and low, I wouldn't mind buying, okay? But this, as you can see, is sideways market. Now also check this out, this big fall broke below this and closed below this. Okay, you can see that, this is a 15 minute chart, okay? So selling is not a bad option. 
if we go up into astro hours selling down is not a bad option right because this zone i think is okay to sell off uh, if you learned financial astrology from me <coughs> check out the um check out the um aspects for the asset as well okay see how that pans out on the daily as you can see the first resistance is here 65 I'm just going to get rid of this 65 and that's going to be 4790.55 so 4790 is there all right and this is not a bad place either 4790 as you can see all right it's not a bad spot to be selling off either here 4790 on the daily okay and on the weekly 71 is going to be 4868 that's again a bit of a bother for us let me just do this 4868 it's going to be down it's going to be up there as well all right that's 8268 is going to be here all right there we go okay but i don't mind selling from these zones all right, i do not mind selling from these high levels at astro hours here or this zone that's the previous day high that's a friday okay let's see the previous week high is also up there okay so this is it so this zone is again okay to sell off at astro hours let's take a look at the euro dollar nicely on the monthly 55 11 12 i don't think we did that yet weekly oh we're right on the support so that's the weekly support 55 which is 1.0930 so 1.0930 is the support for this week all right and if we break below this let's check it out um yeah want to be selling the highs here okay so if we come up to the tops previous day high previous week high this zone selling again is okay let me just check that 1.1030 we had before 64 11.47 that's 11.12 let me just put these up there a bit far out okay they're a bit far out we'll cross that bridge if We break above that 53, 1.0972, 1.0972 is here. And we're in a sandwich zone now, 1.0972, okay? So two things can happen. We're either, we're either gonna sell here, okay? Um, or we're gonna wait. If it breaks out above, this is the second level to sell at. If we test the previous week high in the previous day high that's possible the other option is you're going to wait you're going to let the market break and hopefully break the previous week low as well and then once it comes up we're going to be selling to the downside all right and pushing it down because it's a nice impulse wave i talked about last week selling these levels and that's you know pretty much what the market did so this is a nice impulse wave. If we stick it out, push it down, that's still an option. If it breaks out, be a bit cautious. We've got LCL1 there, which is 1026. Okay, it might just head somewhere, take everybody out, surprise everybody, and then 1026 might be a level. Okay, so we're open to surprises, but you can wait for a U-turn or a reaction on the smaller time frame to follow through this is the first this is the second this is the third level at astro hours where you can wait for a reaction and then sell off from the lows from the highs and if you want to buy then you know obviously that's the support on the weekly let me just check the support on the daily which is already breached here as you can see 49 and it says this could be a fake breakout so we left with this 53 level if it breaks above that don't stand in front of it 
when I say if it breaks above that, it'll need to break above and close above 1.0979, and then it'll be this level, okay? Let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Bitcoin. Also, if you're using the ATM strategy, you can go to a smaller time frame, and then obviously um, what you can do is go to that smaller time frame and wait for a U-turn if you're using your ATM strategy. Okay, on the 15 minutes, okay, five minutes, okay, or wait for that reaction and then follow through. All right, let's take a look at Dow Jones. Dow Jones also very nice still on the Astro hours on Friday. Let's take a look. Here we are on the monthly, huge divergence. There's still possible room to go up. It's a bit tricky. Let's take a look at the weekly, 74, 38, 08, 5, 38, 08, 5 is there. Could it do it? Okay, so we're gonna to have to target those things. On the daily, let's take a look. Wow, on the daily, that's right on there. Okay, well, this is a bit tricky because we've got legitimate breakouts on both sides, but I like this, okay? And that would be 57. Is that 57? It is 57.27. Where are we there? 37.524. 37.52. Is it? Let me just see. The low was 37.518. So there you go, pretty on the dot there and that's your opening okay well wow, that's good that's spot on right so what to do here now let's take a look at the swing days as well mindful of the swing days so what we can do is if it wasn't a holiday in the us it you know it's a bit you know, it's a holiday in the us okay this is what you can do Right, we've got two levels, 57.54. So one of them is already done, that 37.524. is here. So we're gonna have to break 4.66. We're gonna have to break both of these, okay, to, to sell off. So what we can do is this, okay. And this is going to be a target as well. LCL1, 37214. So let's put these down here. 37214 is there. Okay, which is previous week low. So I'm going to get rid of this. Now, this is what we can do. Buying here at the lows or there to go up is not a bad idea. Your first target is obviously going to be here. All right. Let's just, just give me a second here. Let me just... Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much it. Okay, so we can push up into last week, okay, up to here, and then if it breaks high, we can even go there if the market still wants to go up. That's 65, 37, 37, 8. 37816. All right. So this is a zone we can head off to, which is not bad. It's going to sweep the stops as well. So this will be a sell level as well. All right. So if the market is coming down, we can kind of go up in order to sell from there if it's an astro hour. Okay. And buy levels, as you can see, are down here on the weekly or there. Okay, where the market picked up yesterday, uh, sorry, on Friday here, tested the Thursday, went up on Friday into those levels there. Now we're sideways. So going up into these levels again, or if it breaks out higher, is on the cards. So you're going to have to also 38.085. We're going to have to put that there. That's 38.085 there on the weekly. All right, on the monthly market can still even go higher we'll cross that bridge if it does that okay because that's like 41. yeah pretty much it but this zone is looking okay if 
the market wants to sell again. So going up to sell is, I think, okay. NASDAQ also check out for the swing dates for everything, guys. I've put them all on here. It's not a drama there. As you can see, this is the weekly. We're in a bit of a middle zone here on the weekly. So the market still has a bit of room to push up, as you can see. So that's a new high level there. On the, let's see, on the daily, this has got room to push up as well into LCL1, which is 17.290 and 72.17117. So 17.290. Is there. And we'll get rid of this. Okay. So we can still push up a little bit more. As you can see, we've got the breakout there. And on the weekly, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we can, we've got room to push up. That's out there, 73.74, so that's 17.625. 17.625. Seventeen six two five is way way up there. We'll cross that bridge if we break above that, and the monthly is also way way out there. Okay, but as you can see, this is a place where the market closed high. It's all good, so we can still go up. It's looking bullish. Okay, um, it's the fifteenth today, so we'll have to check it out. Um, would we want to sell if we go up first? Um, I'd be cautious on the sell side. Let's just see how things pan out and whether we got a sell sign or not. All right, on this one. Obviously, this is like a big resistance zone there. Okay, and we've got a bunch of places to fill in on the downside, but we'll see how things pan out. Okay, the market should come back at least into this zone here, I'm thinking. Okay, if it's going to retrace. And this could be the fifth wave. Okay, so on the weekly, if that's the fifth wave, we should have an ABC. And that should bring us down into either there. Yeah, it should be around. It should not go below this then. All right, it should not close below that. So we can have to be a bit careful on the NASDAQ. Let's wait for a sign that the market is reversing um, and then do something if we're going to do it. But this is already a good sign on the weekly of a break of a swing market going back up into a discount zone to sell off again. It's just that it's a little bit dodgy because of the PST levels being out there. So waiting for a different setup might be a better option. If you want to buy though, then 6160 zone is your level 16785795 and that's 785 7 85 is there and 789 is up there so those are going to that's not a bad place to go up the weekly pivot, obviously, if it's an astro hour, you can still push up. If it goes up first, be a bit mindful. You don't want to be buying the highs. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Right, this zone we said, as you know, is a place where the market can just take out the stops and sell off again. I said I wouldn't be a buyer at these levels. So hopefully you didn't buy at the highs. Okay. Uh, I said once again, you could buy the lows here because this is it. But you have to be careful if the market closes below that low. Okay. Now, it's already closed below that low here, as you can see. Okay. This is the daily chart. Market going up to sell off is also an option. But this is a good level to buy. If you're using your ATM strategy, you should be okay. Because, you know, the minute these setups change, you know the price is to go long, 37, 39, you see, 42,049, 41,610, 
So these are the levels to kind of like go up if you're using your ATAM. Now your first target is going to be that level, HCL143771. Okay, so if you're a buyer, be careful for that level, 43. 771 all right so it's going to be somewhere there okay uh, but in any case you can see this is a nice sharp fall okay and it's closing low as well it's not doing any long wicks like this one it's like closing nicely and then there's a gap here the market filled in the gap here there's a bit of gap here it could like fill it in and then push down again all right so those levels are important 51, you could just jot these down, 44,122, Those levels you can jot down. Um, and on the weekly, let's take a look. We're right on support. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Okay. That's just beautiful. The minute this breaks, so 66 is a strong level, 41,804. The minute it breaks below this, okay, and it breaks nicely, you see you got room that the market can push down into. Okay, so be mindful. If this breaks down, then you know things could go the other way. 41,804 is down here. Okay, 804, which is pretty much there, you can see. All right, so they've taken support here. If you're using the ATA and you see how nicely you can get into positions at those levels you just have to wait for a setup and on the monthly as well this is like pretty pretty much you see how these are nicely done okay and that's an a b c move so we'll see how that thing pans out but we should get back into those lower levels okay so you can still wait for a break below that and then on the retracement sell-off as well